So in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the Java programming language and uh, we will discuss uh, the first hello world program in Java and we will also discuss what are the applications of Java and why do you need to learn Java? What will you be able to program uh, in Java? So uh, Java is one of the most powerful programming languages right now and they are being used in a lot of uh, enterprises or I should say in a lot of companies where they are developing some very cool applications. So here are some of the applications in Java programming language. Uh, you can create, uh, if you know Java, if you uh, have done Java programming language, you can create Android applications and you can even publish them on the Play Store. So they are basically uh, specific for the Android applications. So next you can also create some desktop applications, some web applications for the e-commerce site etc and the enterprise application so in java we in java series we i'm just going to uh, show you how you can use java in various applications so uh, in java series we are going to discuss data types functions and a lot of things so first and the most important thing about java is that it is an object oriented programming language so if you have prior knowledge to C++ now the next step is going to be learn Java so Java is fully object oriented it's not like uh, C it's uh, fully object oriented and you can learn the object oriented concepts in our uh, channel we have uploaded it uh, we have uploaded it so uh, now we're, I'm going to show you how Java program is compiled and uh, it is run. So every program that uh, here is, the, you can see that this is the flow diagram. And in the first part, you can see that there is a dot Java file. So every program that you are going to create, you will name it as a dot Java extension. So you will give the source code to the compiler and the compiler will convert the source code into a bytecode. So let me define bytecode here. So bytecode is an instruction set for the JVM and JVM is a, a Java virtual machine. Simply uh, JVM is just a module that is that just converts the bytecode into the machine code so that it can execute on your machine. So you will have to convert every program every java file into a byte code or an instruction set your programmer uh, your compiler will do that for you it's just like an assembler so jvm is a specific module which can run on windows linux mac so it is platform independent so this makes java more powerful because it is platform independent it makes java platform independent this uh, means that if you will create a program in Windows, you can run the same program in Linux because the, the compiler will just convert your program into the bytecode and it will just pass this bytecode to, to the JVM installed on the Linux. In the, now we are going to study uh, how, now we are going to see how we can create a hello world program. For that, uh, we are going to install the Eclipse IDE for, you can uh, search it on Google Eclipse IDE for Java and after installing that you're going to uh, see a screen like this so now what you have to do is uh, you go on you will go on this file option then on the uh, Java project so this will open this dialog box and you will just have to name uh, give the name of your project and so this is our project now we are going to finish it so after finishing it you can see that in this package explorer there is a project named test so we are going to open this and we are concerned with this src folder and every java program that we are going to write is going to be a class so we will uh, right click on the SRC and then we will go on new 
and then we will create a class so you can see here there is a class so this will open this dialog box so let's suppose uh, I'm going to write the name of the class as thinkx and then we will have to check this one public static void main because we want our program to have an entry point as a main function we know that every uh, program has an entry point from where it starts its execution so that will be the main function so let's finish it so after finishing it you will see something like this so I'm going to just make it smaller and so you can see that this is our dot java file our source code and when I will just run this uh, program then uh, this the compiler will convert it into the bytecode but at this point we are just concerned with uh, this uh, block of statements you can see that there this curly brace so whatever we are going to do is we're going to do everything in this main function and uh, we will uh, discuss about uh, this whole program in the further coming tutorials but at this point uh, I will, there are some things that we should discuss so every java file is uh, since java is object oriented so everything is going to be in the form of classes and objects so we have created a class and this class is thinkx uh, so, so the name of the class should be this uh, should match to this one and then we have create made, made it public in the package we will see uh, the use of this public keyword uh, later on when we will discuss the access specifiers then there is a package test we will also discuss about packages and this test is basically the package which contains this class and this class has a function which is a public function again we will discuss these keywords public in the upcoming tutorial in the you can see that this main is void because it is not returning any value and uh, the static means that you are not creating an object of this class to access this main function so by making it static it will just run in the when you are executing this function so the simple thing that you need to do is is to create uh, a line you know, write a line which will display hello world in the output screen so the line is system dot out dot print ln which is print line function and it with a semicolon and remember that uh, these dots are very used uh, they are very important if you miss out one so you're going to uh, just get a lot of errors so remember these dots after system dot out and the print line function is used to print something in the output uh, on this console so let's suppose I want to output hello world string so I'm going to write it like this so system dot out is a Java uh, class and we are going to print it print this on the output screen so this is a very simple program and it needs some basic knowledge of object orientation or sorry of object oriented programming because we are going to use class and the static keyword we will discuss about these keywords and we are going to practice more on these uh, object oriented concepts when we will move as we will move further so in this tutorial we have covered only the uh, hello world program in the next tutorial we will cover the data types and the operators so let's just run this and see the output so as you can see in the console we have hello world so that's it thanks for watching